The simulation game we're going to look at today is called Immune Attack. It's by the Federation of American Scientists. And you can go to their website, which is www.fas.org backslash immune attack backslash players 2. And uh, you can download the game. Uh, also, you can go through, uh, they have an area for players, they have a blog, and they have a place for teachers. Um, I'll go through, uh, you can download uh, a walkthrough guide uh, right here and the walkthrough gives you uh, first of all all the uh, commands to run your uh, your um, ship and also the teaching uh, missions. Uh, the first one is a walkthrough so you learn how to use the controls mission, teaching monocytes to transmigrate. Uh, another one, teaching macrophages how to find bacteria. Uh, and there's game objectives listed. Uh, that's all in this one. They also have a quick start that you can download. That gives the basic uh, commands and uh, how to adjust the sound, the basic training, uh, the mission. They tell you what it's all about. So with that, uh, let's go to the game itself. All right, uh, I skipped the introduction on this, and we're going right to the game um, instructions here. Uh, what we can do is we have some options. We have the instructor manual. And uh, I'm going to hit the instructor manual. enter your password and what you can do is you can play all the cinematics if you want to like review them without going through the game you can jump to a particular point in the game and you can change this from your nanobot can be damaged to it's invincible uh, if you don't want your students to uh, basically crash uh, that's the option uh, this gives you the game settings. You can change it from novice to advanced. Uh, you can change uh, all these uh, settings here, however you want. And also the, the volume. Uh, go out of that. And we can start a new game. Okay, so we're gonna take novice and we're gonna start the game. Shakedown cruise is the easy part. Now it's time for the real deal. To start, I'll find and train the first responders of the immune system, the macrophages. The bad guy? Pseudomonas aeruginosa. It's a common waterborne bacteria. It causes swimmer's ear. Okay, some of the things they have. This is the learning assistant. Um, you can start the game without the tutorial, uh, or you can go to all these. I'm just going to close this for now. Communication system engaged. Dr. Sharon Payton, team leader online. Admiral John Keenan, strategic system support standing by. Dr. Nate Green, immunology specialist. Now, as long as that um, your cursor is a little like word bubble, uh, you can't do anything. You're supposed to listen to what they're saying. All the other cells are white blood cells. White blood cells are the key weapons of the immune system. Left click two different cells to learn about them. Now I have the cursor so I can move around. And we can go down here, we can do briefings, uh, get the learning assistant up, uh, we can get help. This tells you where you are in, it's like a map of the body. And this has to do with your um, turbo thrusters and stuff. If you want to know what this is, you just hold Neutrophils that. are fast-moving immune cells and are the frontline soldiers of the immune system. When alerted, they rush to the site of battle in huge numbers, where they each kill several bacteria before dying themselves from exertion. OK, 
edge and you can check out what we're seeing at any time and it stops the game while it tells us what they are. When you complete your training, you should be able to move the Explorer throughout the blood vessel network and fix the broken immune system. Admiral Keenan here. Yeah. We've turned on shields so that the damage will be minimized. Shields are a huge power drain that will be turned off once you're done your training. Let's try some navigation. By moving the mouse or pressing A and D, you can control your attitude. Use the mouse's scroll wheel or the W and S key to control the thrusters. Go ahead and ease forward on the throttle. Deceleration is just as important as acceleration. To slow down, simply roll the mouse scroll wheel towards you instead of away, or press the S key. Give it a shot. Neutrophils are fast-moving immune cells and are the frontline soldiers of the immune system. When alerted, they rush to the site of battle in huge numbers, where they each kill several bacteria before dying themselves from exertion. is to activate the air brake. Just hit the Z button to try it. If you really want to be creative, hit the B button to do a quick 180 degree turn. Be sure to watch your orientation on the minimap in the lower left corner. Okay, now we need to get going in the right direction. Hit the B button again to get on our way. Congratulations, you've completed basic training. You're piloting the nanobot like a pro. If you need to get places faster, use your afterburners. The afterburner status is located in the upper left of the interface. Press and hold the tab key to activate them. Having trouble remembering keyboard and mouse commands? Well, just press the question mark button in the lower right of the interface for a help screen. If you want to learn more about concepts and terms, you can access my learning assistant by hitting the I button in the lower right of the interface. I've detected an infection. You'll need to move fast to stop it. Data packet injected. But first you've got to collect a data packet. Data packets are little care packages that we inject into the bloodstream to upgrade your systems. Use the minimap on the lower left to guide you to this one, or follow the green navigational rings. Admiral Keenan here with a quick tip. If you lose sight of what your current objective is, click on the briefing icon in the lower right corner of the screen. Bacteria has gotten through the skin and is attacking the tissue below. You will need to get the monocyte out of the blood vessel near this infection and get to the scene quickly. And uh, that's basically the game you go through, you navigate, you find what you're looking for, you cure infections, you learn a little bit about the bloodstream, uh, and then when you're done with one level, you can go to the next level.